I'm very stressed, you could, right? You know, Davy Jones died, for God's sakes. What am I, I can't take it, right? I had to spend two days, two hours today shoplifting. It's just, ugh, <laughs> oh, I hope you like my jeans, because they were marked down to nothing. Um, so. I don't know if I got the right size. Do they, I, no, it's hard to get the right size when you're stealing. You know what I'm saying? It's just not so simple. I, honestly, I did my hair, it came out pretty good, right? Thank you. It's called Divorce by L'Oreal. <laughs> It's just not worth it. And, um, you know, we're very, very superficial society now. Everything is looks, right? Everything, everything looks, you know, I have Angelina Jolie lips and, you know, leg, you know. You gotta have, you know, uh, please, I can't, I can't take, I gotta have, you know, Pamela Anderson tits, a Lindsay Lohan fire crotch. Really, I'm stretching it at this point. Uh, I feel very pressured. I'm at the gym today. I'm actually lying to the treadmill about my age and weight. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's fine. And I know, well, I keep going, I lie. Oh, please, I lie. But my grandma told me to go older. You get a certain age, but maybe you go older. So now I tell everybody I'm 75. You know, they're like, you're 75? I'm like, yeah. They're like, you look fantastic. <laughs> it's the Clinique. <laughs> All right, it's the Botox. <laughs> Okay, this isn't even my real head. <laughs> I don't think I would do well with plastic surgery that 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 deep because that's expensive. You know, that's tw you're laying twenty thousand dollars. I want everything solved for that. You know what I'm saying? I'd be in the doctor's office. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, can you remove my head? <laughs> then can you remove the voices from inside my head? And then while I'm under the anesthesia, if you could just get my mother out of my ass. <laughs> That's what I call plastic surgery. <laughs> so unfortunately, my mother couldn't make it tonight. But believe me, she's here. I have one of those Jewish overprotective mother, but I'm jealous of some of these people that have the sacrificial mother. My mother, it's all about my mother. All, it's just, everything is about her. Literally, I can't have a phone conversation. She gets jealous during the call waiting. <laughs> I get a beep, she's like, Andrea, who can be calling you when you're talking to me? <laughs> I don't know, you don't know. I'm like, okay, you call me. It's my other mother. <laughs> And then every day, the same question. When are you getting married? But I have been behind schedule with my mother since birth. Okay, honestly. She's like, when are you gonna walk? When are you gonna talk? When are you gonna get married? When are you gonna have a baby? I'm like, when are you gonna break your hip? When are you gonna die? I mean... <laughs> no, she does, she loves me because I'm an only child, so I'm the favorite. <laughs> I think, and um, First time I wanted to get married, I was like, Mom, I want to marry an actor. She's like, Andrea, that's pronounced doctor. <laughs> that's another story. Anyway, so I'm a single mom, I, which is hard, especially because my son is older than me. <laughs> These kids grow up too fast. I, I swear to God, no, this kid from the get-go was very bold. You know, I thought I was gonna wake up every morning, you know, and go into my, oh, it's my little baby, oh, mommy lives here. This is what I woke up to every day. Mom, come here right now. <laughs> I'm gonna count to three. <laughs> I'm like hobbling into this kid's bed. Now I'm behind his schedule. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Then the Israeli relatives are like, Andrea, does Joshua have a Hebrew name? I'm like, yeah, Pharaoh. <laughs> I don't know, this kid, on, uh, it was for, uh, five years old. I'm like, Josh, let's go out and play baseball. He had every physical ailment known to man. He goes, I can't. I'm like, why? He's like, I just threw my back out. <laughs> five years old. I'm like, all right. Josh, just finish your French toast. I thought we resolved this issue last week. I get bloated on the bus and then I get gassy. <laughs> Where was that book, What to Expect, when you're expecting an old Jew? I, I mean, God, I, I really, I thought parenting was gonna come naturally to me because I raised my mother. <laughs> you gotta have a lot of patience. You really have to have, a, I had to read the same, Oh my God, somebody has no patience. She's like, I totally know what you mean. Oh, you had a lot of vodka, that's good. <laughs> 
no, you write, you have to, I read, five years I read the same book to myself, five years, and every time it had to be fresh and interesting. I'm like, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Where's Spot? <laughs> Is he behind the door? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is he inside the clock? <laughs> no. <laughs> husband tries to read this book, right? He comes home from work, tired, hungry, not emotionally present. This is how I read the book to myself. <laughs> Where's Spot? Is he behind the door? No. Is he inside the clock? No. Is he in the piano? No. Obviously, he's not here. <laughs> is there nothing to eat in this house? <laughs> then my mother has to read this. Right, everyone's got to know she's panicking and suffering about something. Right, this is how she reads the book to myself. Where's Spot? Is he behind the door? <laughs> Is he inside the clock? to read this book to my son. <laughs> Where's Spot? I'm sorry, our time's up. We'll have to finish the story next time. It'll be $10,000, please. Thank you. No, I do try to be a positive role model. I do. I get up every morning. I pop my Zoloft. I'm all smiley and happy. <laughs> Put my kid on the bus. I'm like, bye, sweetie, bye. Hope we don't end up as fucked up as your daddy. Yeah, have a great day. At least I have the joint custody. You know what that is, right? The joint custody? That means every time my son goes to his father's house, I can have a joint. <laughs> and I do. <laughs> I'm very stressed out, people. I'm, very, I'm multitasking myself into this. We're all doing it, right? We're all multitasking ourselves into insanity. It's unbelievable, right? We're all doing it right now. Ah! Right, right, we're texting, we're sexting, we're tweeting, we're twatting, you know, it's unbelievable. I just read an article that said the key to multitasking is to do one thing at a time. <laughs> I'm so confused. I, 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 I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't cope. I can't, I really, I don't know. I, then I went to a fusion restaurant. They have so many choices. What, they should name that confusion. <laughs> what do you order in there? I ordered the feng shui. <laughs> I never got a meal. They just kept moving my chair around. <laughs> starving. I'm sick of fit into these jeans. I just don't, I, I, I swear to God, I don't, I'm a little depressed. All right, can you tell? <laughs> yeah, no, I think I'm suffering from postpartum depression. <laughs> from my own birth and it's just, you know, you know what I hate? I hate when, when I'm depressed and people come up with this superficial shit. Well, just be happy for what you have. You know, I know that's nice. You know, you read that in some little, you know, self-help book, but I'm depressed. Well, just be happy for what you have. Well, I'm depressed. Well, just be happy for what you have. Let me go through this now. Um, okay, I have two unstable jobs, no health insurance, no husband, but I have the ability to do this. Oh. <laughs> All right! <laughs> Problem solved, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> right? Oh, God. And if that doesn't work, just turn the television set, right? That's depressing. I'm not talking about the, I mean the commercials, right? There's some pill, something's the matter with you, right? I can't go to sleep, I'm allergic to myself, I can't shit, I can't eat, I can't get it up, I'm just, I need a moped to get around. I'm so fucking confused with all these pills, I don't, I can't keep it straight. I went to the drugstore to get some Balta, I got the Cialis. I, then I got really depressed because I thought I was gonna be hard for the next 35 hours. I don't even have a penis. Yet. 
Uh, these antidepressants to write their all to the women. It's unbelievable. Every symptom I have. Ooh, do you feel like you need to be wound up just to get out of bed and deal with the loss, the sadness? And then you see this weird doll. She starts walking like she just took this huge shit in her pants. Like, oh my God, is that a side effect? Because I'm fucking grasping for symbols. Right one ahead. Is there a cloud following you? I'm like, yeah, there are clouds. Oh my God, I fucking hate my life. I need a Philippi. You know? Grasping. Why don't they just take a symbol we all could relate to women, right? Like Barbie, that's a symbol we all, right? She's gonna be depressed or something. What is she, 60? <laughs> she never got married, no kids. That dream house is in foreclosure. I, you know, she had like 50 freaking million jobs, right? Bipolar Barbie. I think it's fabulous, right? One minute she's vacuuming the dream house, you know? <laughs> She gets really depressed. She starts tweeting, Ken just lost his 401k. Should I still date him? The bitch told me he was gay, you know. <laughs> totally work. And then all the erectile dysfunction ads, right, for the men. It's unbelievable. What, Stax and C is it the, is it Cialis? Uh, I don't know, there's a thousand, right? What, what are they trying to tell us? If the women wouldn't get so depressed, if the men could get it up every two <laughs> I don't know. I really, I think our country's really, it, it's crazy. We spend five times more money on implants and virility than real diseases, like Alzheimer's disease. So it's wrong. Now we have a country of people with big tits and big dicks, and they forgot what the, what the hell to do with them. <laughs> It's too big for this. A 